Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Screw Toy action figure review. And just like I promised, I'm back with this review of the WWE Mattel's Ultimate Edition, Eddie Guerrero. And I'm very excited to review this figure for you guys. As most people know from my channel, Eddie Guerrero was, was my, or still is my favorite wrestler of all time. This this guy was my whole childhood, man. This, this is what I had strived to be. I used to lie, I used to cheat, I used to steal because of this man. But uh, yeah, man, uh, very excited to review this figure for you guys. I did not find this in store. I know that we're hitting Walmarts in my local area here in Houston. Uh, I did find Ray, like I said in my previous video, I found him on the shelf, but by the time I got there, Eddie was gone. But thanks to one of my homeboys here in Houston, he was able to find a few and he snagged them up and gave them to um, local collectors that were looking for them before other people could get their hands on them and um, scalp them for a ridiculous price. If you go on Mercari, this guy alone is going for like 80 bucks already. So that's just ridiculous, man. So uh, I was able to get this guy for retail, so I'm very happy about that. So shout out to him. But getting a quick look at the packaging, it's your standard Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition packaging. You get the big window with all the accessories here shown in the center. You get Ultimate Edition in this very nice um, metallic lettering. You get Mattel down there, Ultimate Articulation for authentic postability. Eddie Guerrero, 8 plus and up. On the side, you get the name of the um, wrestler right there. On the bottom, you get Ruthless Aggression. On the back, you get the uh, Ruthless Aggression logo, Eddie Guerrero, his height, where he was from, his uh, finisher, which was the Frog Splash. I still do this. I, I do it to my wife every night before bed. Uh, and then we <laughs> and then we have uh, his highlights, which was the WWE Championship. And, um, and then the little bio read right there. So if you want to read that, you can pause that and read that now. So a uh, pretty nice little bio thing back here. Get a picture of Eddie right there, RIP to the legend. On the top, you get Ruthless Aggression. On the very top, you get the Ultimate Edition and the last name of the wrestler. On the bottom, you get a whole bunch of bullshit, but you do get the uh, barcode right there. So if you want to screenshot that now, you can do so. And then, uh, yeah, man, enough about this packaging. Let's crack this bad boy open. Now getting a quick look at accessories to add the packaging. He does come with a set of gripping hands. These open gestured hands. And a set of fists. He also does come with a WWE Championship belt. He also does come with a Latino Heat shirt that looks really nice. It is a dry fit material that's very stretchy. And uh, it has this printed on the front and back. This one says Addicted to Heat. And on the front has the uh, Eddie Guerrero Latino Heat uh, logo. And it looks good, man. This thing took me for a loop at first because I thought it would have like a little Velcro strap or something to uh, unbuckle and put over his body. But unfortunately, it does not. This is a solid piece. It doesn't come apart anywhere. So you do have to pop off his head and pop off his arms. As so, and it, it doesn't take much force. Uh, it pops off fairly easy. And then you can pop off the other one and slip this over his head. Uh, I wish it was a little bit easier than popping off all his body parts to put on a shirt. But uh, yeah, the shirt does look good. I uh, do like it. And uh, yeah, nice little accessory. Now, Eddie does come with three different head sculpts. This first one being a very neutral and smiling head sculpt. The second one has his teeth showing a little bit more, like he's a little bit more excited, a little bit happier. And yeah, man, I like this one as well, but I think I like that first one uh, just a bit better than this one. This one uh, looks a little bit off looking at it straightforward, but from the sides, it's not, not as bad. And the third one is Eddie being very excited, mouth wide open, like he's screaming, he's yelling, like he's... uh. He's excited, like he's about to kick your ass, but he's excited about it. So uh, this one's nice as well. I like the um, the paint on it. The mustache and goatee are done nice, but uh, I love that the that the whole face has a matte finish, but the tongue has a more glossy finish to kind of make it look wet. And uh, yeah, man, I think that looks pretty dope. And here we have Latino Heat himself, and I think this figure is done very, very well. The likeness to Eddie is spot on, in my opinion. And just getting a close-up look right there. Yeah, man, I can definitely see Eddie there straight on and on the sides. And then the rest of the body is pretty basic. You get that arm tattoo right there that's done nicely. And then this time around, the gloves are painted on. Unlike Rey Mysterio, they were sculpted on there. And then the pants look good as well. You get the design right there, nicely done, nicely decoed. No messiness or anything. I like the boots with the flames right there. It does look dope. And then the back of the pants say Latino. 
so yeah man pretty solid figure overall my biggest gripe about this figure is that the upper torso is just way too big and i believe this is reused from brock lesnar or one of the previous um ultimate edition figures and uh it, while it doesn't bother me too much I, I do i do definitely see that that upper torso is just way way too big for eddie it should be a little bit slimmer um but yeah it's just way too bulky it makes the rest of the figure kind of look uh, a little bit off as you can see he has a huge torso and then it just kind of narrows down to very skinny legs so um that's my biggest complaint about this figure but overall pretty dope figure man um not much to him it is eddie uh the definitive version of a eddie guerrero figure um i don't think there's one better out there this is this is the way to go so if you're able to pick your hands up on him uh pick your hand or get your hands on him i'm sorry uh and pick him up definitely do so uh but yeah man pretty solid figure overall now let's get a quick look at articulation it's pretty standard for these uh ultimate edition figures he does have a dumbbell joint that can look up um, not much as you can see there he can't really look up and he can look a little bit down and he does get the smallest amount of head pivoting in there so not the greatest movement out of that head he does have ball joints at the shoulder that move up this much and then he does have pretty great um butterfly joints so he can cross his arms fairly well and then he does have upper bicep swivel double pinless elbows to bend in a great range and then he does have hinges at his hands that hinge up and down and swivel a full 360 upper diaphragm cut they can pivot this much this way this much this way uh this much forward that much back and then he does have waist swivel and then he does have drop down hips that drop down a significant amount and he can kick this much forward and then pop that back in or no. and he can kick that much to the side so he can kick anybody in their stupid ass face and then he does have pinned double jointed knees i wish this were pinless i don't know why they haven't updated that to match the arms and then he does have a boot cut he does have ankle hinge that hinges the foot all the way forward all the way back and then he does have uh some ankle pivot but it kind of gets in the way because just the shape of the boot right there and then he does have a pickle at the bottom of his foot with toe articulation now getting a quick look at some size comparisons here we have eddie next to Brock Lesnar and Jeff Hardy. And this is the pair up that I wanted to see the most. Here we have Eddie next to Batista and Rey Mysterio. And these three men complete my childhood dreams right here of having these three wrestlers in action figure form and in a highly articulated uh, action figure form. This right here, man, is just perfection. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I think Eddie actually shares a torso, upper torso with Batista rather than uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's is big and chunky. Uh, so yeah, he definitely shares it with Batista. But uh, yeah, man, these two, or I mean these three right here, scale perfectly together. And there you have it. Another solid release by Mattel. This right here is my definitive Eddie Guerrero figure. I don't think I need any other one rather than this one. Uh, I would love to see some different color variations on this figure, like the uh, flame pants or uh, just some different outfits on this guy would, would be nice. Uh, again, my biggest complaint about this figure is that upper torso. It is a little bit big. It's a little bit bulky. Kind of makes the rest of the body look out of proportion. But other than that, man, this is a solid figure. And if you're looking for a Eddie Guerrero figure, this is the way to go. Again, this guy is my childhood and more. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And uh, yeah, man, rest in peace to the legend. But uh, enough of me rambling on, man. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. The links to all those are in the description down below. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and let me know down in the comments below what you think about this figure again man this this right here kind of completes my big three that i wanted in my wrestling collection batista ray and eddie um i do look forward to picking up uh rob van dan and the uh new brock lesnar that are going up i think they're already up for pre-order on the uh walmart website for that uh what's it called collector's con that walmart's doing for stcc weekend i did see some of the reveals um that uh, a couple of the uh, guys that were out there in SECC were posting on their Instagram. Maybe we'll do a, a video later on in the week talking about a, a, like a recap video talking about all the figures that were revealed during SECC. But um, yeah, man, solid figure. Enough of me rambling on. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.